welcome back to Porphyrin Bootcamp. Today we'll be showing you how to reduce the nitrated porphyrin you made last week to form TPP NH2, an amine porphyrin. In order to do this reaction, you will need the nitrated TPP NO2 porphyrin which you made last time. You will also need some tin 2 chloride dihydrate. And finally, you will need some 12 molar HCl. This reaction requires 6 molar HCl, so you will also need some water in order to dilute this HCl. You will also need a reaction setup consisting of a 250ml round bottom flask, a water condenser, a stirrer hot plate and an aluminium heating mantle. Add your nitrated porphyrin to your round bottom flask, ensuring that you've also added a stirrer bar. Next, add the 6 molar HCl to the porphyrin, making sure that the porphyrin is fully dissolved. Careful not to spill this acid on the aluminium heating block. Finally, add the tin 2 chloride dihydrate to the reaction mixture and set the reaction mixture heating to 60 degrees. Ensure that the water is turned on on the condenser. After the reaction is finished, turn the heating off and remove the round bottom flask from the aluminium heating mantle. Once the reaction mixture has cooled, back it down on the rotary evaporator. Ensure that you remove the stirrer bar and that you back down small portions at a time because HCl will bump very easily. Once all of the HCl has been removed, you will then need to neutralise the product using a 1 to 10 solution of triethylamine in DCM. Put the round bottom flask back on the stirrer hot plate and add a stirrer bar. Pour in the triethylamine DCM mixture and allow the product to be neutralised. You'll see that the product turns from green to purple as the neutralisation takes place. The neutralised product is now ready to be purified by aqueous extraction and dried using magnesium sulphate. <laughs>